Howdy mates, good late morning, how are we all doing? It is Sunday, March 19th, 2023, and I'm actually visiting a new site today that is down by Astero. Uh, we're at the uh, Crew Cypress Dome Trails. Now, for those of you who don't know, Crew is an acronym down here. It literally stands for Corkscrew Regional Ecosystem Watershed, which encompasses up to 60,000 acres down here. A watershed is basically a reservoir, a natural reservoir, that purifies water and is a supplier, too. So, Cypress Dome, I'll explain that in another video because I haven't seen one yet so I figured it would be more relevant to speak on it once there is one visible. Rather this video I want to focus on something known as Erythrina herbaceae. I think. I think that's how it's pronounced. Anyway also known as coral bean. Right here. See this? Here we are. We've finally reached the time of year, given that it is spring, that they are now blooming. Now, a fascinating thing about this particular shrub, which is what coral bean is, oftentimes it's the flowers that bloom first, and then the leaves come after. The new leaves, anyways. So you could say that this shrub is what you call semi deciduous and they're always known for having their trident shaped leaves at least that's a more appropriate association because <laughs> you know some people have different mindsets and they could believe it resembles something else but anyway these are very attractive especially for our pollinators particularly are hummingbirds. Now, down here in Florida, in particular, it's been rather difficult finding the ruby-throated hummingbird, which is the most common type. Now, for another two, the shrub is very versatile. This can grow basically in any type of ecosystem. It can grow in marshes, it can grow in the hammocks, it can grow in a little bit of flatwoods. I think I said that already. I honestly don't remember. And it's actually also tolerant of both sunny areas and even shaded areas too. So, in other words, this is actually a great native plant to incorporate into your home. Or your yard but one thing to know right away about this plant as well they are a type of legume so they do produce beans specifically in the faba ca family but most importantly what you need to know is are they edible <laughs> i mean as the saying goes it can be edible only once right but Bottom line is, they do contain alkaloids. So, in other words, that's very toxic for us in particular, for our digestive system, because we don't have the enzymes capable of processing those types of compounds. And so, upon ingestion, it can actually be fatal if it's not treated. So, in other words, please don't eat the beans. So, as you can see, too, yeah, you can definitely tell that it does act like a shrub right here. This is all connected. Anyway, it's a great plant. It's good to see them blooming. That means, even though it may seem that Florida doesn't have different seasons, the state indeed does. So, all right. 
guys hope you enjoyed this uh, little snippet enjoy your rest of your weekend and journey on a journey is once again outwards take care folks see ya